Hi guys. Hey everyone. Welcome to Make Two and another episode of Let's Play The Searchers on the PC. Last episode we went exploring all the way that way and found a super cool desert temple which gave us a whole bunch of treasure. And in this episode we're going to be staying a little bit closer to home. Been doing some housekeeping and tidying things up and some building which we're going to take a look at. Now for those of you with great memories you'll remember this is where the cows lived. Mm -hmm. And that was where the sheep lived, and that was where the horses lived. Mm -hmm. But now, there's no sheep, and there's no cows. But there are two holes in the ground. There are two holes in the ground. Let's take a look. I actually need to make a little hole here, and let's put a fence there. And we go in here, I'm going to hold the shift key because I might fall down. Here are all the cows. Here are all the sheep. Yeah, you've talked about making something like a... Um Special farm? Yeah, animals. yeah, uh, super industrial farm for making animals and then killing the animals. And I didn't want it to be, you know, super in the open, so I built it underground. But we're going to go inside and take a look at what it looks like from the other side. So let's. So you didn't want it above ground because you want to hide your slaughter? Yes, because of the shame. Cool. Yep. Did well, I notice pigs and rabbits, by the way? Did oh, you yes. always have those? No, I didn't. Because I cleared out space here for... So this is just my protective area where the sheep mm -hmm. and cows live. And I had to move the horse as well, which we'll see in a little bit. And I had a little space here, and I thought, I've got a whole bunch of carrots. Ooh. Gosh. See, they love them some carrots. So I got myself, I think, two or three rabbits, and I bred the rabbits, and they bred like rabbits, and now there's more rabbits. <laughs> and I've got one pig... But let's see that again. They don't, they don't jump so much now. They're ready for me. Uh, but let's see. No, there we go. Pig turns around. So I've only got one pig. I need another pig really so I can make more pigs. Uh, at the moment, they're just farm animals. I guess I could make an industrial killing farm for them at some point if I can bear the shame. Can those bunnies hop out of the fence, by the way? They don't seem to have hopped out. I, I, it was a test because, you know, if they hopped out, so be it. You know, good luck to them in, in the wild. Mm -hmm. Uh, but they seem to have done fine, so that's pretty good. So, here's Mr. Pinchy. Hi. Hi, Mr. Pinchy. So, this is where we have our mob trap down there, and here was just a hole at the end, but now this is where I've got my contraption. So, this is my contraption for breeding the cattle and sheep, getting the kids to fall down into this little area. When they grow up, they get killed. And this design is almost a 100% copy from a great video from Rabbitsmoor, so you can see how it works. But here up here we have all my sheep, <laughs> and here's all the cattle. And we're going to see if I can breed them from here so you can see it. So you watch the water. What this water's doing is there's water right in the corner here, and the same on the other side. And when the babies are made, because they're, they're smaller than the adults, they actually fit underneath this glass area here. They fit between the, the floor and the glass where the water is. And the water flows down this way, and the same thing on the other side, it flows down here. So the babies get squished into this channel, fall down the hole, and land on that soul sand. This is why I wanted soul sand. And once they're there, they hang out until they grow up, and we'll see what happens when they grow up, once they have grown up. But we're going to try and make a bunch of babies now. Looks like I can just about do it. So we you got can the soul, see... We got the soul sand a few episodes ago. Exactly, from the, the nether. nether, yeah. So you can see, let's see, I got them all there. One did fall down the hole, I see. Yeah, let's see if you can just see, there's one, <laughs> going straight down. And we're going to do the, it's a bit easier from up top, but let's just make a few here. Let's do it with the sheep. I'm clicking and clicking to give them all the hay they can take. And now you can see some sheep going down the hole. Goodness. Yeah. So the, ca the little babies can sort of go around for a little bit, but eventually they all go down the hole. Little sad. Okay, okay, I'm gonna get a couple more sheep there. Let's see, are there any more babies? Wait, how many adult sheep and cows do you think you This have? is probably about 20 sheep, and this is probably only about a dozen cattle. Oh, there's a little sheep. I did have more cattle, and then I fell in the hole myself. You know how I love to fall in. Mm -hmm. And the only way I could get out was by killing a bunch of cows and breaking mm -hmm. half the contraption. Mm -hmm. So here now you can see all the babies. Right, they're so just crowded together. They're just crowded together. We're going to watch them grow up in a little bit, but they're going to take a couple of days to grow up, so we're going to leave them to chill. And they're just going to grow up all smushed together in that little mm -hmm. area. It's actually like, yeah, it was when I was trapped in there, I didn't get a video of it, but like literally the only thing I can see was the inside of cow. Like, 
there was like so 20 weird. cows all around me uh. and it was super strange yeah i'm gonna get my pickaxe out because i'm gonna do something so yeah we've got rabbits over here there were our cows so what did i do with the horses i moved the horses to a brand new area here. i built a stable wow so here we have just a pretty flat stable i thought yeah. of doing a bit like this but i couldn't get a design i liked I but like here it. is yeah. yeah until i did a flat design and i like this mm -hmm. flat design mm -hmm. So you've got three horses in here. I had two before. I've just got this beautiful white horse as well. And it's just pretty nice. This is all acacia wood, acacia wood trunks, acacia wood on the top. This is oak for the fences here. Got some nice colors. And yeah. I like the fact that there are different styles of building on the farm because it gives yeah. it, you know, some variety and diversity. Thanks very much. <laughs> so here we have the horses. Hello, and there's horses. three now. We can have more. but. Yeah. Uh, and we said before, if you have this fence post here and fence post here and one block in the middle, the horses don't know they can get out, mm -hmm. but they can. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, oops, I'm going to break this block here and let me see. I do have a chest on me and in that chest, I want to put a spare saddle. And I've got on me from last time, this golden horse armor. That we got in the temple yeah. the desert temple. yeah exactly so the question is which horse should get it the black one the black that's the only one that doesn't have a saddle on so let's put a saddle on the horse oh okay you need a saddle first and yeah. then put the gold so get on, on the horse got it or the, to ride the horse why is the horse black in this picture that's weird the background i think is always black oh you think they would contrast it oh that's Ooh, so beautiful i look love at that. that look at the look of that awesome um here we go exploring. Hello. Now, can I remember the key? No, 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 no. Here we go. There. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> Look at us. There is us. So now we can go riding around. Sweet. So this would be great for exploring for, like, you know, wolves and stuff that we can domesticate. That's so true. Maybe another pig. But you said that we can't do that because we don't have a lead. Yeah, I need to get a lead so that I can tie up the horse at night, because otherwise, as soon as I go anywhere, the horse is just going to wander off with a saddle and all the gold armor. So it's not the most sustainable, but I need to make a lead. And to make a lead, I need slime and string. And I don't have any slime. I have to search for slime chunks, and I might just cheat, because I think online, if you put in your seed, you can find out where the slime chunks are. Mm. But even once you've found a slime chunk... You then have to go digging for slimes and try and find a slime in a cave somewhere, which is not necessarily super easy. So I've held off on doing that, but I think probably my next step, thanks for the ride. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what we should call him or her. Uh, black Beauty, maybe. Black Beauty? Who That's is the a, name a... of a fictional black horse, isn't yeah. it? Is it a gelding? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We've been reading books which have lots of geldings in. I don't know what a gelding is, but it's Black Beauty. Thanks, Black Beauty, I for the ride. I think a gelding is like a stallion that is no longer quite a stallion. Oh, I see. That's yeah. been... Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So that is our stable. Let's now go and wait for the little babies to grow up into proper cows and sheep, and then I'll slaughter them all <laughs> on screen. Okay, before we do some killing of innocent animals, let's see if we can kill <laughs> some not-so-innocent monsters. They probably are innocent monsters. They just spawned in your little machine and they didn't have a chance to do anything bad before coming into this little place for killing. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, now let's take a look at our animals. They've all grown up, as you saw from that little time-lapse photo, so here they all are staring straight at me. Mm -hmm. And they're fine. They're living. They're happy. There's 20 of them in a one by 2 area. Uh, but they can breathe because of the glass. I think if I didn't put glass here, they uh, wouldn't be alive right now. But you can see there's a button right here. And I'm going to put on my HUD so I can see what I'm doing. If I click that button, 
This is a dropper or a dispenser, I can't remember which one. Um, let's see if I can take a look. It's a dispenser. And inside it has a bucket of lava. Hmm. And if I press this button, it's going to push lava out On just into this me. block. Because if you see this here is a sign and lava can't fall. This basically means the block for the lava, it considers it like it's like a stone block. Like the lava just won't go on this block at all. So the lava will only go in the top square here. That is a weird thing about it Minecraft. It is a weird thing. The Why same... would a wooden sign block lava? Yeah, basically you have things in Minecraft that block an entire mm. block, like a, a cube. And fortunately for us, for this design, a sign is one of them. And we have another sign back there, so it can't go backwards. Mm -hmm. It can only occupy this one little square here. Hmm. Now, normally when you build this, you can just have it on all the time because the lava doesn't go anywhere. And because it only occupies this one spot, the babies wouldn't get hurt, but mm -hmm. the adults will. Yeah. Are you ready for some killing time? <laughs> go! Ah! Oh my gosh. Let's... Oh, look at that. That's so sad. Yeah. Oh gosh, I wonder how many are going to die. See, one thing I haven't done yet because I don't have slime is I could have a piston that would push these guys forward. Ah. Uh, so they would be like constantly going into the lava. Yeah, yeah, because you oh. want them to be, yeah. So I could leave it on and they'd probably come back. They'd probably eventually die on their own, but <laughs> just, just for, you know, just for the sheer fun of it. Gosh. Come on, guys. Come on. It's so sad. It's like an execution Oops. chamber for them. Yeah. Oh, they don't know any better. He's just like, I think this one knows. This one knows what's up. Yeah. He's not okay. coming well, forward. Well, he's going to get to live. <laughs> and we have underneath the soul zone, we have droppers. Uh, one on each, and they're feeding into this right here. And this is what we got. We got eight cooked mutton, which means I think there are at least eight sheep. We got some wool, not tons of wool. And we got five steak and two leather. So we actually, yeah, we don't have as many cows as we do sheep right up top. So wait, what exactly does the soul sand do? The soul sand lets things drop through it. So they died on the soul sand, but the stuff fell through the soul sand because it's not very dense and went into the dropper and then it could go into the chest. Okay, so it won't let living animals fall through, but it will let pieces of it will dead let animals little things. Fall yeah, it will like fragments fall through rather okay. than whole blobs. And I could put the you'll see in the rabbit small video, but if you put the droppers right here, the droppers are a little bit low, um, so I think the adults wouldn't necessarily get burned. If that makes sense. No. Well, when the adult you want the adults to be tall enough that they get burned by this lava. But yeah. I think if you just did a dropper only, they wouldn't necessarily always be tall enough because the droppers go a little bit below. Got so it. here's the top okay. line there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the dropper might be at that line. Yeah. There's a reason I can't come remember, but Rabbismore has a very good explanation of why. He builds a single one just with one entrance where he does say you can do it with two. And I sort of expanded on his and did it with two and put a button here. So I can just control whether I want them to die or not. Uh, I also will want to add a bit more redstone so I can push back here. Can't see it from this view. So you can push to make even kill this brave little sheep back there. But for right now, he's doing fine. <laughs> so I <laughs> hope you've enjoyed seeing our mass slaughter device. We need to find some slime, and I'm going to get started on that for next episode. I think I can try and find a slime chunk, and then try and do some slime mining, or whatever it's called, on the lookout for slimes. Do let us know what you thought in the comments below. Do you like our stable? Which one is your favourite horse? If you haven't done so already, please feel free to subscribe, because we have plenty more Minecraft videos on the way soon. Thanks for watching.